Today's a landmark occasion. It's the first cohort of uh, the CSA apprenticeships. Uh, and it's fantastic to see, and I'm really excited to see these guys develop, uh, see what they become in the next few years, and actually see that this is not just an option in life, but a great option and something really to, uh, to aspire to. I do enjoy my work. I love the vibe of the river, love working with it. Got all the boys around me. It's one big family on the river. I was always destined for it, yeah, because I rolled down at Poplar. So seeing the big boats fly past, I just suddenly caught the bug. So I went away done a bit of voluntary work and then got myself an apprenticeship. This is a very important day for us. This is the launch of the Thames Apprenticeship Programme. It's the first cohorts of deck and engineering apprentices who are starting on a TSA managed apprenticeship programme, which we hope will be the first of many on into the future. Well, I love it really. It's a, a good jump in life and I can see a path. Well, I'm learning to weld and so then we're fixing the boats, welding all the parts back up if they break or cutting pieces out and replacing them and just general maintenance on the Thames Slippers. To be honest, I got on the Thames Slipper one day and I really liked their boat so I thought I'd like to be a part of it and I went online, found the apprenticeship. Maintenance, service, uh, engine work, pretty much anything mechanical in the boat for maintenance and servicing. We've just started with, through the Thames Skills Academy. We sponsored three apprenticeships which have now started their, their training programme. They're there for 18 months. They've had their first four weeks away from home on the Isle of Wight. Feedback I have, it's gone really well. They'll be working towards being captains. It allows us to grow captains from, from, from source. The reason really that we, we support the Thames Skills Academy is because the river is growing and there's huge potential for future growth. So there's all this opportunity out there and if we don't have the people to do the jobs to deliver all of this then it won't happen. Um, my apprenticeship is two years long, it's with um, Bennett's Barges. I work on the Dixie Queen mostly and I'll also begin to work on the tugs um, later on in the year. I'm learning what, what it takes for a boat to be able to go out on an, a functional event um, and, gen, and just general stuff on the boat like port side, starboard, starboard, what the front of the boat's called, the back of the boat's called and just general boat knowledge. I'm impressed that she's going into engineering, something that not many women are doing at the moment and I think if I had to take on the apprenticeship, that's the correct route right now. I started my apprenticeship about two months ago here at Livet, and what we're doing is our boat master's license apprenticeship. If we want to go further, we can do our local knowledge on the river, and then we can do our puck towing and pushing too. I'm very proud. It's something Jack's always wanted to do. Ever since he was about four, he's always wanted to work on the river. Um, and the TSA have made it so easy for us because it was something we'd never got involved with before, didn't have a clue where to get him started. And every step of the way, they've been really helpful. It's amazing. I, I couldn't believe it. I say, I, I'm a class one lorry driver and I didn't, I didn't know that Jack was going to want to come up and do the um, boat master's license and everything like that. There is a skills labour shortage um, for the types of roles that we need to operate the services on the Thames and we just can't attract people. The people with the skills that we need just don't exist. They, they don't, we have to create our own. It needs um, bodies like the Thames Guild Academy to create this type of programme so we can all move in the same direction and upskill um, up the labour market. Because I'm really new to the river, so it's the first job I've ever had on the river, I've never had any family working on it or anything like that, so it's a whole new experience for me. I'll be learning sea survival skills, I'll be learning first aid skills, firefighting skills, uh, passenger control skills, so the whole variety I'll be learning. I mean, I started 12 years ago, so all my experience and all the information that I've gathered over the years, I want to try and pass on to Charlie. The truth is, I feel, right at the back of my head, slight envy that they're on this wonderful, wonderful course, um, which is like a roadmap, it's clarity at the end. Two years' time, two years from now, if they apply themselves and we do the right thing as a company, joining hands with the TSA, they can sit their Boatmaster license and become brand new captains, which is amazing. The more they put in, the more they'll get back. So I, I think that everything's set up very well to make sure it's a success. I look forward to seeing them make the most of it. Whee!